Before you begin, please note that adhesion may be poor on surfaces such as tile that have been treated with silicone-based sealers. Test by peeling back about one inch of the liner and press the adhesive area to the surface it will be installed on and leave overnight. The next morning, test the adhesion by pushing it sideways. If the adhesion is satisfactory, pull straight up and proceed with the installation. If it is not satisfactory, surface preparation or mechanical attachment may be necessary. You will need the following tools and supplies to install the water stopper. A pencil, scissors or razor knife, silicone, an optional silicone gun, and a straight edge. Step 1. Clean the surface with the supplied alcohol wipe. The surface must be clean and dry in order to proceed with insulation. Step 2. Without removing the adhesive liner, place the end cap level at the curb edge and inside the shower front. Please note the distance from the front of the shower for the second end cap. Step 3. Draw the outline of the end cap on the shower. Step 4. Mark on the floor at the embossed arrow on the end cap. Step 5. Mark on the floor at the edge of the underside indent at the open end of the end cap. Now repeat steps 2 through 5 with the second end cap at the other side of the shower. Step 6. Draw a line with a straight edge connecting the two marks from Step 5. Step 7. Peel off about 4 inches of the adhesive backing and stick the corner at the two intersecting marks. Step 8. Using the line as your guide, continue to peel the liner as you gently stretch the material and stick the water stopper along the line. Step 9. When you reach the arrow mark at the other end, cut off any excess material and firmly press the end to the floor. Move along the length, pressing firmly down on both sides of the water stopper. Step 10. This step is optional. You may apply silicone sealant on one half of each of the ends of the adhered water stopper. You may also apply silicone sealant inside the end caps at the shower, the bottom, and the underside slot. Peel the liner off the self-adhesive tape on the end caps. Step 12. Stick the end caps inside the drawn outline. Make sure that the upright rubber is slotted properly in the end cap. Wipe off any excess silicone sealant and pencil marks with the other alcohol wipe. The water stopper, used with a heavy-duty weighted shower curtain, offers the best water retention system available. Step 1. Lay the water stopper along the front of your shower, leaving equal access at each end. Step 2. Mark the water stopper nearest the corner with a pencil. Step 3. Extend your pencil mark up and onto the vertical surface. Step 4. Cut out the template located in the written instructions of your kit to match the angle of your shower. Step 5. Place the template on the water stopper with the arrow pointing toward your mark and the parallel lines flat against the outside edge. Trace the template. Step 6. Use your razor knife to cut out the traced area. Make sure to start your cut on the vertical surface. If the water stopper does not fully bend to your angle, you may need to cut further into the vertical surface. Do not make cuts on your shower surface. This is an example of a cut for a 90 degree corner shower. 
Step 7. Slice the liner about 6 inches on either side of the cutout. Do not cut through the adhesive strip or the rubber. Step 8. Remove this section of the liner. Step 9. Bend the water stopper to your angle. Make sure that the outer edge curls up rather than down. Step 10. With one finger or thumb in the inside pit of the cut, press the water stopper down onto the shower. Step 11. With the center cut pressed down with one hand, use the other to stretch tight and stick the exposed section of the adhesive down to the corner of your shower. Step 13. Your corner is finished. Continue with steps 9 through 11 of the water stopper installation instructions. For a neo angle, follow steps 3 through 10 using a scrap piece of wood or other hard surface between the shower floor and the water stopper to make your cut. Remove the liner between the cuts. Holding the first angle firmly, pull tight and stick second corner down while making sure the front is straight. Continue with step 12.